Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are checking out the 2016 Lexus RX 450h. So this is a hybrid SUV and it does have all-wheel drive. Now the all-wheel drive system on this is pretty unique. So up front there is a 3.5 liter V6 engine producing 259 horsepower. That is matched with a 123 kilowatt electric motor. There's also an additional motor up there which is used as a generator and a starter and it also alters the gear ratio of the front CVT. So that's what you've got going on up front and in the back there is a single 50 kilowatt electric motor which is used to power the rear wheels. So there is no connection between the engine and the rear wheels, there's just a rear electric motor that's placed back there to power the rear wheels. So as it stands, there's quite a few different ways that it can send power to the ground. So it can just use that front electric motor, it can use the front electric motor and the rear electric motor, or it can use the engine as well and use that engine to power uh, that front motor as well as the front wheels. So up front it's kind of like a parallel series, in the back it's just a series because there's only an electrical connection to those rear wheels and then you power that electric motor. So total system combined power is 308 horsepower and of course you're going to get a lot of immediate torque at the low end. So it accelerates pretty quickly at the low end and then it kind of starts to taper off. 0 to 60 in this vehicle is 7.9 seconds with the all-wheel drive and a lot of that is a result of how heavy this is, over 4,700 pounds. So it is quite a heavy vehicle. Now if you were to opt for the front-wheel drive version, you've got the same engine, the same front motors, uh, but you do not have that rear electric motor. So it's going to be a lighter vehicle, it's going to be actually a a quicker vehicle 7.7 .7 seconds to 60 and it's going to get slightly better fuel economy so if you really don't need uh, the all-wheel drive that's probably the best thing to go with uh, because it's quicker it's lighter uh, and you're going to get better fuel economy and of course it's cheaper now as far as the interior, plenty of space up front for the driver, plenty of legroom and plenty of adjustment in the steering wheel up down or front to back. There's also plenty of legroom in the rear seats as well, uh, though headroom is a little bit more limited in the back seats. Now as far as visibility, looking out the front and to the sides as well as checking your blind spot is good. Looking out the rear however, it's a little bit more cramped up, uh, but overall visibility is pretty good. You've also got this pretty awesome, uh, very large panoramic sunroof up on top. Plenty of nice features within the interior. You've got this nice large screen up front. Uh, you've got heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, adaptive cruise control. So this thing kind of is just kind of decked out in technology and all you know the features you may want. One of the things that is a little bit limited is the rear cargo space. Uh, so behind the rear seats, when you do have the rear seats up, there's not too much cargo space back there. It's kind of like a hatchback. In fact, my Subaru STI hatch has a little bit more space behind the rear seats than this SUV. Now, of course, when you fold those seats down, you're going to have significantly more space. Uh, but if you do have, you know, the car packed with five passengers, which you can do, you're going to have limited space in the back in comparison to some of the other SUVs out there. Now, as far as the fuel economy, this returns 30 mpg in the city, 28 on the highway, and a combined rating of 30 mpg. So versus the Lexus RX350, this is getting about 36% better combined fuel economy. Uh, so pretty impressive, the hybrid system adding a significant benefit in fuel economy, though of course it is going to be a bit more expensive. You're also going to have a little bit better grunt down low because of these electric motors in the hybrid over the regular Lexus RX350. Uh, which has a coupling system to send the engine's power to the rear wheels. Coming into some corners here, as the driver, you know, you are kind of removed from the experience. It's very light effort required for almost everything. You've got a decent amount of body roll, but you know, all of this kind of goes hand in hand with it being a luxury SUV. You know, it's effortless, it's comfortable, it's quiet. There's body roll because the suspension is very soft and thus, you know, comfortable. So it makes sacrifices in the name of comfort and that's apparent in the driving. One of the things you may notice putting your foot down is you might get a little bit of torque steer uh, pulling you one direction, but certainly a nice strong pull while you are going at lower speeds. They have done a nice job with the tuning of the throttle pedal and the brake pedal. You really don't notice any difference between when the engine's running, when just the electric motors are running, uh, from a feel perspective, as well as on the brakes, you know, when it's using regen versus when it's using the disc brakes. So they very seamlessly blended all of that. So it's a very, you know, seamless experience for the driver. You don't notice what's happening and it just feels like smooth acceleration or smooth deceleration. You do have different driving modes as well, eco, normal, and sport. And so you can put it in sport if you want a little bit quicker response for acceleration. Okay, so we're going to test out the 0 to 60. I've got it in sport mode. 
I'm going to come to a stop, put my foot on the brake and the accelerator. Uh, it's not going to like that because it's a hybrid and it's going to say, it's going to give me some sort of warning. So it says uh, both pressed, let go and off. And there's 60. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below.